Hey, what's up? Zach D Productions here, and I am here with a movie ranking video for you guys. So for this ranking, I'll be ranking the X-Men slash Wolverine movies from worst to best based on my opinion, of course. So I am a pretty big fan of the X-Men. I would honestly say X-Men is probably one of the best things about Marvel, and I would rather watch a lot of these films than the recent MCU movies. Now, yeah, there has been some weak X-Men movies for sure, but we'll get to those, of course. They'll be last in the ranking. One of these movies I have actually not seen, so I'm just going to automatically place that in the, uh, in the bottom of this ranking. So let's go ahead and get started with this ranking for the X-Men slash Wolverine movies. So what I have last, the one that I haven't seen, but I've heard terrible things about, The New Mutants. Yeah, I definitely don't have any interest in this one. I've heard it was bad and yeah, never seen it. Don't care to, to be honest. So next we have Dark Phoenix, which this movie didn't need to be made, to be honest. I mean, I don't know why this movie was made. I, I think the X-Men series really did overstay its welcome. Like, I think after Logan, they should have just cut it there. But they went through with this film. It's kind of just eh, not very good. So Dark Phoenix, not a very good movie overall. So next we have X-Men Apocalypse. I don't really remember much about this film, to be honest. I mean, I don't think it's all that great from what I remember. It's not really a good movie, but, you know, I would say it's at least better than Dark Phoenix and The New Mutants at the very least. But that's not saying much, because those are pretty bad movies. I'm not going to lie. But Apocalypse, it's just eh. It's an eh movie, I would say. So next, we're going to get into some more okay movies, I would say. Not great. Not even good, but just okay, I would say. Next, we have X-Men First Class. And I do remember when this film came out. Uh, again, I think it's just okay. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I believe it takes place in the 60s, and, you know, there's some James Bond inspiration going on here. So, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. But overall, eh, it's just kind of a forgettable movie, of course, you know. You do have the iconic uh, Wolverine cameo, so there's that. There's something uh, going on for that. So overall, first class, it's just not that good. It's okay, though, I would say. Same thing with this movie, X-Men Origins Wolverine. Now, back when this movie first came out, or around when it came out, I remember actually liking it. I do remember liking this film, actually, but, you know, that's when I was young, didn't know any better about movies or, you know, what was actually good and what is and whatever. Um, but yeah, this movie, it's just kind of eh. I mean, it's okay at best. I mean, there are things to like about this film, uh, like Gambit. I think Gambit is one of the highlights of the movie, I would say. And some of the scenes with Wolverine I do like, like the motorcycle scene, you know, those action-packed moments. I think those moments uh, are pretty cool. They stand out. And, yeah, I mean, it's just kind of eh, to be honest. I mean, it's just okay. I mean, I really do wish this movie was better because, well, I do like the character Wolverine. And I think Hugh Jackman is probably the best fit for Wolverine. X-Men Origins Wolverine, it's just kind of eh, okay, I would say. So next, now I can maybe see some people uh, disagreeing with this one being this low. But I think it's a pretty good movie. I think from this point on, we're getting into the good X-Men films. So next, we have The Last Stand, which I do like. I do like this movie. Some people would rank it higher. But for me, you know, it's, it's a pretty good movie. It's just not the best, in my opinion. Uh, I do like a lot of the characters, of course. Of course, you have Wolverine back, and you have uh, Holly Berry as Storm. Which, I think uh, she's pretty good as Storm, actually. So, yeah. Fan favorite characters. Some cool action scenes. And, yeah. The stuff with uh, Professor X, I think, is cool, too. So, there you have it. The Last Stand. Really good movie. So, now we are moving on to one of the more underrated films of the 
X-Men Wolverine saga, in my opinion. And that is The Wolverine. And I've always liked this movie, actually. I remember when this came out. Never really had any problems with it. I know that some fans don't like it, but I've always liked it. I never really had any problems with it. This movie takes place in Japan, which I think is uh, pretty cool. And I thought the cast did well. I do like the characters, and I think they all work together very well. And I thought the story was decent. Uh, not anything mind-blowing or amazing or anything, but I think the story is decent. And yeah, pretty cool uh, concept for an X-Men slash Wolverine movie. Uh, so really like this one. Really liked uh, the Wolverine. So next, we have Logan. Which I know that some people would actually place at number one. For me, I like this movie, but it's not at number one. I do think it is a good send-off for uh, this character, Wolverine, aka Logan. I like the vibe of this movie. It's like a near future, like Mad Max type of uh, setting, which I think uh, is really cool. And I remember when this movie came out, a lot of people made the biggest deal about this film being rated R because there's not really a heck of a whole lot of comic book movies being rated R. But yeah, um, I remember when that was a big deal with this film. But yeah, I mean, it is definitely more violent. And it's also more depressing. Like, you do have to be in a certain mood to watch this film. It's not like, you know, just a movie you want to see when you're bored or whatever. Like, it's a pretty depressing movie. But I do think it's, it is a good film, though. It is a very good uh, film. And again, a good send-off. But again, you know, he's coming back. Hugh Jackman is coming back as Wolverine, but, you know, apparently that's supposed to take place in an alternate universe, which I guess makes a little bit more sense, but I don't know. Yeah, so Logan, really good movie, and yeah, I know a lot of people would say that this is one of the best in the X-Men Wolverine saga. All right, so next we have Days of Future Past. And I've always liked this one too, actually. I remember seeing this one in the theater, as a matter of fact. Um, yeah, you got a lot of the fan favorite characters back. Of course, you have, uh, Wolverine, you have Storm, you have Professor X. So overall, really solid movie. I think the story was pretty good as well. Um, just not the best Wolverine X-Men movie or anything, but still a really good movie. Never had any issues with this one either. Always really liked Days of Future Past. So now we are here at the top two, which this should be a no-brainer at this point. Next, we have the original, the first X-Men movie. And I do like this one. Yeah, the CG hasn't really aged too well. There's some things about this film that haven't really aged too well. But overall, I do like this movie. And I heard, and this is something that I have heard recently, actually, the reason that in this movie, they never had the X-Men wear their, like, actual comic book suits or whatever is because, like, they couldn't make it work with the way that the film looked or something like that. That's something that I've heard recently, so I find that kind of interesting. But, yeah, I still think the movie works for what it is, you know. It's really solid. So, the first X-Men movie, really great, and probably one of the best Marvel films. So, there you go. But at number one, though... It's got to be X2. Really great movie. I mean, they basically just took what worked in the first film, improved upon that, made it even better in this film. So, yeah, I have very little complaints with this one. Yeah, similar to the first film, there's things about this film that, ha that haven't exactly aged too well. Um, the way the film looks, yeah, similar to the first. It's the early 2000s, so it is what it is, but... That's the charm of these films. That is the charm of these classic Marvel movies. I mean, it doesn't get better than this, I would say. <laughs> um, I do like the action scenes for the most part. And yeah, I think the cast does well. So there you have it. And, you know, it's a good team movie. You know, if you like movies with superhero teams, this is definitely a must. Honestly, this film and the first one. These are must-check-out films for sure, especially if you claim to love Marvel movies, so the second X-Men movie is coming in at number one. It's definitely a great film, and yeah, 
chemistry between all the characters worked very well. Pretty good story and everything, so yeah, not much to complain about it. So that is my ranking for the X-Men slash Wolverine movies, so let me know what you think. How would you rank these movies? Feel free to let me know. So with that said, thank you for watching. Have a good one.